for your Kristen. Oh, it is fantastic. You're at the Buckman Farmers Market. It's in Southeast Portland over by 20th and the nearest street, Hawthorne. So in that area, bring your dog, bring your kids. Just get out in this fantastic weather. There's a lot of fresh fruit. Uh, there's activities for the kids. We even have live music behind me. Uh, so it is just a really good time here. I'm about to chow down on some Thai food here in a second. So you can even grab your dinner uh, from here. If you don't want to go grocery shopping, you can just eat it here and enjoy the music. Uh, but yeah, the weather is just been fantastic. Let's talk about uh, some of the temperatures now. Record highs today in Portland, upper 80s for highs. Our old record was 85, so we certainly beat that. Salem, a new record for you. Astoria, a new record for you. And Salem and Astoria, those areas, those records go all the way back to the 1940s, so that was a long standing record that got broken today. Highs across the state, near 80 in Baker City, uh, up and down the coast. Not quite as warm, but still uh, well above average for this time of the year. 84 in North Bend and 81 in Astoria. Your forecast for the rest of this evening, can you believe it? Still in the 80s for 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 75. And even as we close in on midnight, temperatures are above our afternoon averages. So it is going to be a really mild evening ahead. You'll want to take advantage of it. Tomorrow is still not a bad looking day. We'll see a lot of sunshine to start off with, but then the cloud cover gradually builds in. So the clouds start to roll in. Most of the shower activity holds off, but there will be the slight chance for a shower late in the day. And then Saturday, uh, really looking better for those chances for showers as you get closer to Portland. So looking at the sat rad right now, just a few high clouds moving in. Uh, you can see a few more clouds out to the sea there, and those are going to be pushing in as we go through tomorrow, bringing in some of the changes. So we're going to be shifting back to our normal weather pattern, which is going to be a cooler one, uh, back to the 60s Saturday and Sunday. So the big changes moving in just in time for the weekend and the wetter weather too. In fact, Saturday afternoon looking at a good bet for those showers, and then Sunday looking pretty wet as well. So tomorrow the trade transition day. Uh, wind speeds, you can see anywhere from 10 to 15 mile an hour winds down by the ocean, and you can see where those winds have changed direction. We've had that east wind for the past few days to keep us warm. Well, now the westerly winds kicking in, and that's going to drive in the cooler air and some of that moisture, too, to bring in the rain. So your rain and cloud forecast as we head through tomorrow, uh, skies will gradually become mostly cloudy, a chance for a few showers, mainly by the coast and for the coast range as we head into the afternoon and evening hours there. And then as we head into your Saturday, shower chances going up for the coast and even in the metro area by late tomorrow afternoon, we may even see a shower or two as the clouds continue to thicken for your Saturday afternoon. And then Sunday looks to be the wet day. So the showers will continue to come in and uh, we'll see those temperatures again for the weekend in the low 60s. So tomorrow's your last day really to get out in the nicer weather. For the beaches, though, we'll see those changes pretty drastic tomorrow back to the upper 50s, but 70s for the valley. Central and eastern Oregon temperatures here will be mainly in the upper 70s and low 80s. It'll take a little bit longer for the system to reach this area, so you'll squeeze in another nice day. Evening showers for the gorge tomorrow. Highs in the 70s there, Cascades. Clouds increasing as we head through the day. And your forecast for the metro area. Highs mainly in the 70s for tomorrow afternoon. And your forecast for the east side, again, mid 70s. So we're still above average for this time of the year. As you take a look at the seven day forecast, uh, you can see the temperatures do go back closer to normal. And uh, that's when we're going to see the 60s return and the wetter weather returns. And it looks like the weather is going to stay fairly wet for us as we head into the start of next week. So it's not too late to get out and take advantage of the really nice weather. You have until 7 o'clock here at the farmer's market. Uh, I've got my strawberries, been munching on those for a lot of the evening. Now I'll have my rice bowl. And the people here, you got to love them. My dog, Ranger, he is fat and happy right now. He just got some free fish from the smoked salmon tent. Oh, I bet he did. I bet he's gotten a lot of everything. And don't forget to pick up some of the fresh flowers, too. That's the best place in the world to get fresh flowers is all of our local farmers markets. Kristen, oh, have fun gorgeous. out there. Yeah, have Kristen. fun. Thanks okay. a lot. It looks great. I think Ranger